Hello guys and girls and ladies as well. Um, I've found a flaw with the electric starter. It's not with the electric motor or the mechanics or anything else. The actual design is very good but the fault lies in the mounting plate. Now the mounting plate is very thin aluminium and the bolts they give you thread into that and you're not going to get a lot of purchase on that. Probably four threads at the most and of course the vibration of the weight of the motor and all the um, bits and pieces on there is quite heavy so that's going to vibrate and, and make these mounting points here um, actually break away very very quickly and I've, I must admit I've had issues with that with the pull start as well so I've overcome the problem what I did was there's the mounting plate as you see it uh, sorry it goes that way up okay these three hold it onto the engine, and I thought, well, they're countersunk. So why not countersunk the other countersunk countersink the other ones on the inside? So there you go. And I bought some screws to go in there and um, put nuts on the end. Now the original screws I give you, the original bolts, as you can see, that one's bent. I haven't even used it yet. It's not very good. Very cheap uh, NAFS metal. It's I don't know, but not very good at all. I tried changing over to screws and I thought I can't take them apart with screws because I want to get the screwdriver in. So, by countersinking them, the countersunk head is sat behind there, flush. There's not much room behind there, inside, uh, behind the mounting plate either. Not much room at all. So, countersunk the bolts into there and put. Uh, the M3 nuts on the end, and I've, I've got I've got to cut those off. Actually, they're they're still a bit long because I ordered for the same length. Now, uh, if I can hold it right, you can see the screws go in there, spacers, and the nuts on the end. Okay, there they are. So that's going to hold it in pretty solid. And if there's any um, issues with it coming loose after I use it, then all I've got to do is tighten it up with a little uh, spanner. And I can easily access all of them from inside the boat. <clears throat> so, a little modification there. And uh, nothing to do with the motor, nothing to do with the mechanics. It's the actual plate. Now, this plate is not anything to do with the manufacturers of this design. It's actually the plate that I use uh, for mounting uh, the boat. And I've got the same on the other end. Look. And uh, there you go. That's what I've done. Simple reversal of process. Instead of going in that way and screwing into the plate, go that way and put nuts on the end. I thought that's pretty good. Anyway, that's what I've done. Um, the progress of the boat is coming on well. I've managed to cut the prop shaft wrongly. This one was the prop shaft out of my old boat. I'll cut it too short. <laughs> so I've got a new one, I've done that, I've fitted that. And um, the servos, like I said, are all sorted. So it's not long now. Um, I've still got a bit of work to do, it's taking a bit of time at the weekends, I don't get much time during the week because I'm working obviously, but uh, I'll do a video every week if I can and keep you updated. Okay, well, thanks for watching again, take care and see you soon, bye bye.